chemical concerns take center stage. Who runs something to someone without saying, just letting you know that the groundwater and the soil is contaminated. Business owners demanding answers after being forced to close. Past businesses of a gas station and dry cleaner are coming back to haunt the Franklin Village Plaza. As the state was cleaning up contamination in the groundwater and the soil, it discovered air contamination. That led to a discovery of volatile chemicals under one business last week. That forced a shutdown. Jason Colthorpe is in Franklin tonight following a tense meeting. Uh, Jason, what do we know tonight? Well, Kim, we know what these volatile chemicals are. The DEQ getting those results at 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's a mixture of PCE, the chemical they, they thought it was, which is an old dry cleaning chemical, and also old fuel oil, all mixed in one tank sitting underneath this plaza, likely for at least the last 40 years. Former business owners and current business owners demanding answers tonight. Standing room only at the Franklin Council meeting as questions about contamination at the Village Plaza were answered by the Department of Environmental Quality and the County Health Department. And so our, my landlord knew about that? Business owners were emotional and angry as they wondered who knew what and when. I'm actually so livid. The village said it only learned of the contamination this month, but the DEQ says the current owner knew in 2010 when she did her due diligence in buying the property. Legally, what was required? But a former tenant asks, what about morally? Knowing that the building that I rented from my landlord, she knew that it was contaminated in 2010. She knew the groundwater and the soil was contaminated, but kept it to herself. I have, as I said, I have students who are young and girls and who can have babies still, and now I'm worried about them, right? They've been exposed to these chemicals. We tried to get answers from the owner of the Village Plaza as she left tonight. Business owners who are worried that maybe you should have told yeah, them that this was contaminated? I'm shocked, you know, I, I didn't know it. <laughs> well, I understand that you're shocked, uh, but do you feel responsible not t saying anything to those folks that rented the shops? I asked both my, her and her husband, um, and they said everything, all the numbers were great. So I had nothing to worry about. I was, yeah. You felt like you were lied to, though. Yeah, I did. I do. And, and still people wondering, what are those health effects in dealing with this exposure? Now, the owner of Fritz and Friends, which is around the back, telling me tonight she's going to close, does not plan to reopen, just doesn't see how she can. The DEQ will be here tomorrow removing those chemicals. We'll be here and check it out. Kimberly? They'll be there tomorrow, Jason, but at what point can those shops reopen? Yeah, they wanted to know that too. Now the DEQ has a few dates. They have a best date and you can see that the, the, the notice remains up. Uh, nine days from now is best guess. They said if they have a uh, realistic date of a week after that, the following Wednesday, and a worst case of a week after that, which would be 23 days from now. So these folks are uh, really hoping that comes sooner rather than later. Yeah, really Kim. hard for a small business owner to survive like that. Okay, Jason, we appreciate it.